Current protection of compressor. Malfunction conditions. If the outdoor current exceeds the current limit value, the LED will display the failure. The failure may be caused by wiring mistake, faulty bridge rectifier, system leakage, or blocking and faulty outdoor PCB. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. If the protection occur in standby mode, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the protection does not occur in standby mode, check whether the power voltage is normal. Restart the unit when the power supply is normal. Measure whether outdoor terminal voltage is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of power wires is correct. Measure whether the voltage between L and N is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of L and M is normal. Measure whether the input voltage of bridge rectifier is normal. If the value is not equal to the power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of bridge rectifier is correct. If the wiring is correct, measure whether the current is normal. Use clamp meter to clamp live wire to detect whether the running current of air conditioner is close to rated current. If the current is normal, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the current is abnormal, measure whether the voltage between P and N is normal. For normal value, please refer to the table. If the value is abnormal, check whether bridge rectifier is normal. Measure whether positive and negative conductivity of the plus and minus pole between 2 or 3 AC are normally responding. The positive conductivity should be some value and the negative conductivity should be infinite. If positive and negative conductivity of one diode are both zero or infinite, bridge rectifier is abnormal. If bridge rectifier is abnormal, replace it or IPM board or main PCB. If the error still exists, check the wiring of reactor or inductance. If wiring is correct, measure the resistance of value of reactor or inductance. If the reactor or inductance is normal, the value is lower than 1 ohm. If the value is abnormal, replace reactor or inductance. If the value is normal, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the value is normal, check whether the outdoor ambient temperature is higher than 50 degrees Celsius. If yes, stop the unit. Check if the outdoor unit ventilation is good. And make sure the outdoor unit ventilates well. If ventilation is good, check whether the outdoor fan runs properly. AC fan only. Check the fan capacitor to verify the capacity value is same as the specification. If fan is normal, check whether the heat exchanger is dirty. If yes, clean the heat exchanger. If the error still exists, replace the outdoor main PCB. Check the EEV, electrical expansion valve, if the unit has one. Measure the resistance to check if there is any short circuit. If yes, 
Replace the coil of EEV. Measure the output voltage to the EEV. The values should be same as the table. If not, replace the outdoor PCB. Please refer to the table to check whether the system pressure is too high. If yes, recycle the overcharged refrigerants. If the error still exists, check whether the refrigerant system is okay. Find out the cause and solve troubles.